Hello, welcome back. So if you want to learn how to do this shot with an iPhone and a small application just using a couple flashlights, just stick around. Uh, probably only going to be five or ten minutes. We're going to do what's called light painting. Now light painting is different than this huge soft box here, some of the things. Uh, we actually paint the photograph. It comes out black initially. It's a long exposure. And we highlight it with, with um, flashlights to, to emulate the sun and to bring out the things we want to show and to hide the things we, we obviously don't want to show. And so it takes anywhere from, again, two to five minutes, but you can get some awesome photographs doing this, um, better than I can from soft boxes. And I'll, I'll mention as we go through some of the drawbacks and some of the advantages, but some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need iPhone, slow shutter um, application. I think it's just a couple dollars. It's well worth it. It emulates my Olympus EM5 Mark III, and no other camera up to date has emulated that live composition that I know of besides the slow shutter that I just found. So I'm really excited. It's another win for the iPhone. A couple lights, some fabric, uh, maybe some clamps or some black tape and some thread and let's get going. Okay, you can see I got the, the actual phone set up, the camera set up, I got the backdrop, the clock, the cloth, and some yarn or some thread on there. What I'm going to try to reproduce, I got red cloth, I'm not sure if this is going to be a black and white or we're going to use the, the vintage red in this, this photo. Um, good things and bad things about light painting. Good things is you can, you can highlight things in a photograph or on the subject that you just can't do with regular light or or ha I haven't been able to find a way. So it gives a lot of minute fine detail. You can bring out textures like there's no other way. Um, the bad thing is you can actually overexpose the photo because it's all manual effort. The other bad thing is I can't reproduce it that easily. Um, I can get close but every light painting is a little bit different because it's just the nature of it. You'll see. I'm going to get you in the screen here. And what you're going to see is a, a, a black screen at first. And the longer I hold the light on it, the more exposed it becomes. So I'm going to generate a normal, let's say, sun or window lighting first on the subject at a 45 or, or overhead. And then I'm going to slowly start softening up the shadows around the clock itself. And I'm going to kind of dynamically give you guys a view. You'll see it in camera. It might take a couple minutes but you'll see me moving around. I'll try to give you a couple different versions of this and you'll get it. So the other thing is it might, you might do 12 exposures and you might only like one or two. It's fun, but at the same time, it's a lot of work. It's not something easily reproducible that I, I guess I mentioned, but yeah, let's get going here.
showed you guys a couple different compositions there as far as you know sped some things up you guys were able to see um, how it's done showed you you know me moving around the lights kind of the camera setup the, the gear setup the nice thing I could do is I can actually highlight individual strands and strings the strings that were coming off the clock um, where with traditional lighting like a big softbox you just can't do that kind of stuff it's very very difficult to do that you could do it in post you could do some other things but yeah this is uh, a lot of fun the drawbacks or the downside is the fact that you can't reproduce this easily from one shot to the next as I mentioned before so probably shot about 20 photos um, each two to five minutes as I said and uh, you know you're gonna see one here the end result but yeah you get better as you go along with a certain subject you learn to light it a little bit better some of the things and it's it's really practice you get used to it first few half dozen you're gonna fail for certain that's just the way it is uh, but if you keep at it you can definitely get some just some outstanding results uh, keep at it so if you guys got comments questions concerns put it down below hit that like subscribe button if you're into still photography wildlife or some gear setup got some stuff coming over the horizon for you and i'll see you guys next week